I really don't want to do this. Everything just needs a bit of an everything shower. Tested. A whole new form of planning my week. Uh, washing my hair. And chilled the fuck out. Happy Sunday. <laughs> Not only is this a reset, but this is just like a, let's calm the f down. I'm feeling a bit burnt out. I'm feel, feeling a bit overwhelmed. So we're gonna solve that this weekend. It is obviously time for our March reset, getting ready for March. No, I can't even look. You know, one of those moments where it's just like, I can't get started. Cause like, what the fuck do I do? I've just come back from London. Well, I've been back for about, an hour now and I made some porridge for lunch. I had quite a few parcels, which is really exciting. So I feel like I've not had many parcels in a while and like some really good parcels, like two that I'm like, um, actually three to be fair, that I'm like unbelievably excited about. It does mean it's a mess here. It's not really a mess. It's just like, I, <laughs> this is, I'm about to say the worst thing you've ever heard on YouTube. It's not, but like grow up. I hate putting parcel stuff away. <laughs> like I hate finding a place for like all the new products and stuff because I, I do just, have quite a lot but i am really good to be fair with like products that i keep and stuff just because if i don't think i'm gonna use it i'll just give it away like there and then like it will stay on the edge of my table until someone takes it but this is basically the current situation let me show you the overview also i've listened to all your feedback so this reset is hopefully gonna be a lot more like fun and interactive and engaging than the last and i know exactly kind of what you guys want to see but let me know at the end of this vlog one if you're still watching at the end and two if you have any more feedback and tips and what you want to see in these resets but this one's going to be half reset half like chill like a full kind of like giving my mind and everything shower giving my flat and everything shower that's kind of the vibe for this reset just like everything just needs a bit of an everything shower and everything just needs a minute <laughs> That's the vibe. But that's not the vibe that's going on right now. As you can see, I had a little Gymshark parcel, which, oh my God, I can't wait to try on. We're not like, I was gonna say dirty. We're not like messy, really. Everything needs a clean. Like we're messy now because I've made lunch and open parcels. But other than that, we're actually pretty solid. It's more like clean and a tidy and I need an everything shower. And so does my mind. Like my mind is the one thing that really needs an everything shower because I just feel, I've just been feeling really, really overwhelmed recently. Like I'm yeah, this close to like a full burnout moment because I don't know what's happening. Every week is just passing me by really fast. It's not even that I, I am really busy and I am working hard. Um, I'm really hard on myself. And if I have like one minute rest, I'm like, well, you didn't work that hard today. Um, which is ridiculous because I don't feel like I'm like that. I have been very nice to myself recently. The weeks are just passing me by. I feel like before I know it, it's Monday, video needs to go live. Before I know it, it's Wednesday, Patreon needs to go live. Before I know it, it's Sunday, podcast needs to go live. Like, I feel like I'm not in control of my time, which is kind of what I want to get back on track this weekend. A lot of planning, meal prepping, cleaning, everything shower. It's pretty much a solo weekend. I'm going to try and keep it that way as much as possible. I am seeing a show with Jess and I'll probably see Tia. Solo Sunday. I really want a solo evening tonight. That's kind of a non-negotiable for me. <laughs> Gotta take a picture of this before we can get rid of it. So I think 
let's go do a bit of a late night. <laughs> it's 4 p.m. Food shop. Food shop is done. Already feeling a bit better. Excited to have a nice nutritious dinner. It's very much getting dark now. I did actually bomb myself a bottle of 0% wine. And I've wanted to try this rosé for so long. I'm actually not drinking for the next like six weeks. Which I'm actually excited about. A little bit apprehensive about. Not apprehensive, but like I do like a drink. So like you know those people that are like I don't like drinking, like if I drink, I just drink to get drunk, like I'm not a social drinker. I'm quite the opposite. I thought I would give you a very quick food shop haul. It's nothing mental. I did just buy myself some nice little bits. There is some random stuff in this fridge that needs to go. I am attempting to eat just like a lot of the food that I've got, as in like what's in the cupboard and what's in the freezer. Just because like I've got a lot of pastas, I've got a lot of rices, I've got a lot of like frozen veggies in the freezer and stuff. So rather than just letting them sit there and be like, Oh, that's there for when I need it. I forget that they're there and I go and buy like ready meals and stuff. So I'm just trying to eat it all up. So I've just got some bits to like pair with that and some bits to hit my protein goals and whatnot. So I've actually gone for some 5% fat Greek yogurt. It's actually so much nicer than 0% fat. It's ridiculous. Like it's what my boyfriend eats and it's just so much nicer. I got myself some eggs, some cheese. I know I just said I can't eat what's in my freezer, but I did buy myself some mints because I've got a lot of pasta and a lot of like chopped tomatoes. Don't get me wrong, chopped tomatoes are an essential, but I, fa I fancy making a bolognese basically. So some chicken, which was kind of the essential. I've got couscous in the freezer and frozen veggies and rice and everything. So chicken was an essential. I got two packs of turkey rushes, turkey bacon. I've never been on that hype, but I had it at cheese and it's actually so nice. Not guilty, it's called rosé, which I'm actually really excited about. I did get some more green veggies. I'm trying to just like load my meals with green at the moment. So just some asparagus and some broccoli. A Mother's Day card, some egg whites. And a soy milk, but I've got a lot of oat milk to get through at the moment. And that is that. I'm going, I am going to sit for a minute, maybe on my phone. <laughs> I feel overwhelmed, I need to like unpack and stuff. I think I'm just gonna like have a second to drink some water because I've hardly drank any water today. Answer a couple things I have to answer. And then I'm like turning the work phone off, the candle's going on. I think my task for tonight is just gonna be to unpack, get everywhere like clean and clear, like clear and like wiped down, do you know what I mean? Not cleaned. And then have a nice body shower. I really need to scrub my body and give it a nice moisturize. And I think that's it. That's all I'm gonna do today. part of the evening I was waiting for and the part where to be honest even like 30 minutes ago I was like not gonna happen like I'm exhausted I finished my dinner and like got up and got my dessert which was a today a caramel wafer and a pepsi max Pfft. unbelievable literally two of my favorite things in the world and I was like I can't even wash my dinner before I eat this and like sit back down and watch the rest of Dragon's Den I was so exhausted but I was like no I'll be pissed off at myself like all weekend if this all takes like a delay. So as you see, everything is packed away or unpacked. There's actually a wash on as well. So the wash thing's gonna have to come straight back out, but it's all clear. All the washing's done. Even my bedroom's clear. And I was, I was gonna leave this as well, but even my bathroom's like clear and unpacked. I mean, that's my makeup bag. It all just goes in there, but that's fine. So I'm gonna have my nice big body shower and scrub. And then it's the best part of the evening, dressing gown on, like just dressing gown, soft, luscious Tesco FNF dressing gown lather myself in bum bum cream um i'm actually gonna use some new skincare as well from Inez free um which i'm excited to try some new hyaluronic acid stuff and we know how much i love hyaluronic acid i want this reset to be like done in a day so i think i want it to be done tomorrow so that i can have a sunday sunday like that would be the best reward for myself on sunday to not drag this bloody reset out and just like good morning pretty people i just gave myself a jump scare when I looked in the lift, which isn't a very nice thing to say, but like the bags are back in and I am pale. I think I've just finally got rid of that soft skin blurring filter. I actually totally forgot about it until I was watching Molly May's vlog the other day and she was like, I need to turn it off. And I was like, 
I think I need to do that. So maybe I look more disheveled now. <laughs> the, like, the bags are bagging. You're reminded that that could be on people's camera. But I've just been for a lovely walk with Tia, actually. It is 11 a.m. I didn't wake up that early. Oops, a daisy. I'm gonna quickly run off to the gym. I've got a glute session. Hopefully I'll be back by, yeah, 12. Half 12, we can eat lunch, shower, and then spend the majority of the afternoon resetting finally before we go to this, the cinema and the theatre with Jess tonight. I really don't want to do this. It's actually been an hour. It's two o'clock. I've got about three hours until I need to like get ready, eat my dinner and get ready to go to the theatre and I want everything done. So don't know why I'm hanging about. Three hours is more than enough time as well because I don't really, really have that much to do. Oh, so let's go. I'm putting on Devil Wears Prada which is, oh my God, I did not realize that, so that song is the start of this film. An hour and 50 minutes. So let's see, it's almost like a little timer. Let's see what I can get done in an hour and 50 minutes. I'm thinking, get all of out here. I hate doing the bathroom so much. And I'm like, I won't be able to listen to it in the bathroom. Maybe we should start with the bathroom if I hate it so much. This is literally my, one of my favorite songs. How did I not know this was the start of Devil Wears Prada? Different planets Watch your aura pass me by Losing balance What if we run out of time And second chances Empty handed You like to fast life You like to drive and get down and dirty You act like the bad guy You want some love You like when you feel like calling me mm, You got the best of me You got me losing speed <laughs> oh yeah, I can see myself in it. This stuff is the best. Um, it's fabulous with a little glass cloth. Now we tackle the thing that just like drains my life so badly, the shower. But what drains my life even more is my bathroom floor. I'm being very real with you now. Can you see how much the dust collects in here? It's so annoying. I do this like every week and I just hate it so much. So shower and then the floor, and then we can close the door. The candle's already lit. <laughs> Guys, the shower's cleaner than it's ever been before. I actually polished all the metal bits. So again, they're all like mirrors. The floor's a bit dirty again now because I've had muddy feet on it, but that's what I cared about. And the glass is absolutely stunning. Gorgeous. So this is all good. Just this absolute mess. about two minutes left of Devil Wears Prada. It is 3.40, so I've got about another hour, but all the hard, like annoying stuff is done. So the kitchen is sparkling. There is nothing better in this whole entire world than a clean sparkling sink. Like when there's nothing out, this is gorgeous. This again, you can bloody see yourself in it. Like that to me is like, oh, okay, shit. We're cleaning. So this is all done. Bathroom's all done. This has just come out. 
nice and dry and fluffy so we can put that back on so i literally just need to hoover mop and do all the other surfaces so like my bedside table and stuff i do kind of want to change my bed but i think i'm gonna tan later on in the week like thursday ish so i'm just gonna wait a couple days because i also did do it not that long ago so i'm going to wait as much as i would love to have a gorgeous shower and get into a fresh bed it doesn't make sense let's water some plants before we forget because i will forget to do that the floors to go oh it's like the best and worst bit it's quarter past four we're finishing off the flat everything shower in the next like half an hour but these bins they need to go we've got lots of recycling we've got recycling bin we've got that bin that needs to go it's pretty empty that bin which to be honest is just full of flowers but if i'm taking them out most i take them out and my bedroom bin is full so i need to sort out my bedroom and bathroom bin to recycling and then take them down and then it's literally just So best believe these have been open the whole time we've been doing this for hours and that oh, is the reset of the flat the everything shower for the flat well and truly complete i'm absolutely knackered <laughs> it's three minutes past five so we've smashed that i'm up i am genuinely knackered um so i'm gonna sit on the sofa for a minute and then I'm gonna make dinner. And I will catch you tomorrow now, because I'm just gonna to go to the theater with my friend. And then tomorrow morning, we're gonna wake up and have a really, really lovely Sunday kind of Sunday, which I am so very excited for. Happy Sunday indeed, my lovely people. It is half 11 and I've just finished my 7K. I actually feel really, really good. That run was not easy. It wasn't. It was quite hard. I've had the tightest chest all week. I get this thing where the best way I can describe it is I feel like I can't take a full deep breath. Like a very tight chest. <sighs> I've had it all week. Um, normally I have it for like a day, an hour and a day, but all week I really haven't been feeling that great with it. And I think I could just really feel it on that run. Like the whole time I was thinking about the fact that I was running. Um, but it was actually a good run. Like it wasn't, I don't know, hard. Yeah, I just... I think I was really aware that I've not been running on my own a lot recently and I've not really been running loads, full stop. Um, I say that I obviously did that big crazy run literally a couple of weeks ago, two Sundays ago, three Sundays ago now, the 23K. And it just amazes me that when I'm with other people, like how much quicker I can run for like longer. Well, I could keep a seven minute pace for 23K. I couldn't even keep a 7.30 pace out there. I wasn't really trying. It was supposed to be faster than comfortable, but ended up being a 7.50 pace, which is for a lot of people very, very slow, but I don't care. I enjoyed it and it is gorgeous outside. It is so sunny. So I think what I'm gonna do is actually make myself some lunch and a coffee, take it up to Media City with my planner and my notebook and sit up there for like an hour because it's such a vibe up there when it's sunny. Doctor told me I'm lacking in vitamin D. So I did buy myself some tablets, but also I'm like, it's sunny, it's a Sunday, it's only half 11. What else am I gonna do all day? So I think I'm just gonna send up, spend our Sunday up there. I would love to like buy a coffee and a pastry and lunch, but I'm trying to spend a lot less money at the moment. So we're gonna take our own. Finally, fucking finally, wash this hair. This is the part of the week I've been like most excited for. Like I said, it's well and truly finally everything shower time. So let me show you a couple of the things. I'm gonna use. Um, nothing crazy, to be fair. I'm loving, absolutely loving this at the moment. I got actually sent these 
which is pretty crazy, from L'Oreal. This is the L'Oreal LV Hydra Pure 74 hour purifying shampoo, salicylic and hyaluronic acid, which are my two favorite acids. This is exactly what I use on my skin. It's a salicylic cleanser and a hyaluronic acid. Afterwards, absolutely love it. The shampoo and conditioner, and do you know what I might use for the first time, because I haven't used it yet, is the little pre-shampoo thing that goes with it, oil control scalp serum. And then my Estrid Rays that I'm gonna use, I use this to shave with at the moment, because again, I got sent loads of them actually, but they're really nice, the Sundays, the Sunday even, body foams. I've got this, which I love. This is the Body Shop Peppermint Body Wash. Love that. This is an evening, you know this, Rituals um, Sleep. We're gonna put a nice comfy outfit on, blow dry my hair, I literally cannot wait. Quick change in plans, I'm actually eating lunch now. Now meaning, <laughs> what is that towel? Now meaning straight after the shower, just because I'm a little bit hungry. <laughs> I'm one of those people that like loves washing my hair and you know those people that are like oh it's hair wash day I just can't relate to me this is the best feeling in the whole entire world I would wash my hair every single day if I could <laughs> love washing my hair love freshly washed hair I think it's because other people like style their hair and do stuff with their hair so like freshly washed hair isn't the best my hair looks best when it's freshly washed I'm going to put a little tracksuit on, I think, um, and get ready for a walk. That is actually <laughs> It's that big, it's got a full biscuit on it. No, it's gorgeous. Lovely Sunday walk. Drink. Okay, guys. I have actually tested a whole new form of planning my week. I've decided to become a Google Calendar girly. I'm gonna test it, I'm gonna try it. And I've linked up so that it's on my Apple Calendar on my phone, because if it's not on my Apple Calendar, there's no point. Like, I, if I have to have another app, like, I feel like I just won't get around to it. Although I have color coded it all on here, and it's not color coded on my phone. I didn't realize, but that's fine. So let me show you. I've tried to do it in a way that feels nice, but not overwhelming, but like I've given myself structure to keep to. Um, and I'm just gonna see if I can keep to it next week. Um, definitely come back next week because next week's vlog is all gonna be about kind of like getting myself in a routine, keeping habits that I wanna keep, like some things that I've realized are really important to me the last few weeks where I've been a bit overwhelmed and stuff. I've realized there's like a couple things that really keep me sane and really help me and some things that I think are really important. So I'm gonna try and like keep all of those next week and stay on top of this and like treat myself like an employee and try and just like have a really nice week, really balanced week, produ productive week, but not like grind till I die kind of week. Like, no, thank you. Anyway, so this is my plan so far. I started writing out a week to do on here and then what I normally do is, let me get one up, I normally do like a like a random, like Monday, Tuesday. Can you see all of this? I think so. I think it just says like random stuff. I'll normally do it like this, which kind of works is fine with me, but I'm liking this because I really like, I, I'm a big lover of a calendar. I don't know why 
things don't show on my laptop that I put on my phone. Obviously, I've also got a work phone and my phone, which is here. And those calendars don't sync up either. So I'm going to spend like a few minutes now making sure that this is on all of the devices. But yeah, I've kind of done it like this. Um, made sure I put in all my gym days. I want to like get all my sessions done Monday to Friday next week because I would love the weekend off. I might do this easy six on the Sunday. We'll see how I feel throughout the week. Like if I feel it comes to Wednesday and I feel like I need a break. Cool. Maybe we can switch around these runs. We'll see. But I've just done it like this. Gym, get ready, go to a coffee shop and edit and upload. Home, I've got a meeting and then I've put work block one. I'm just covering one. And then within that, I've given myself kind of the tasks I need to do so I don't forget. And these come up on my phone as well. So that's super handy. Even putting in like, okay, go on a walk now. Like keep myself accountable for that. I've put it in there. It helps. And then last small work block when I come back, just so I have one video to edit. But I feel like by here... I might want a walk. If not, I'll switch around. No worries. And then like the next day I've got a doctor's appointment. So I would, I planned my whole day and kind of like forgot that. So now that's in there. Filming podcasts. And then my Wednesday, I've got a bit of a work block. And then I've kind of like left it free because I know I've got some ads coming up that I might need to film. And I have nothing else like urgent that I know I need to do because I've got all my long form content done on these days. So these three days is kind of like going to be focusing on any events that need to get organized any short form content any ads that need to be filmed and anything like left over from here that I haven't got done because something that really overwhelms me is like looking at this and thinking I have to plan every single second of the week whereas my job doesn't work like that like who knows I could get a last minute ad come through on Tuesday that needs to be up Thursday mornings so then all of Wednesday gets moved and you just do need room to be bouncy and I found that I think in my head that I should have a week planned out minute by minute but really that's not how my job works and that's fine and that is the luxury and that is the fun thing about my job so I try not to like weigh it down with feeling that like if I don't have things to do every second of every week by the Monday that I don't have enough to do and I'm not working hard enough so I've planned like the first two and a half days and then yeah I'm gonna obviously like fill it in as the week goes on but I'm really excited to give this a try and I really hope this works we'll see but I think I'm gonna close that for now although I do need to yeah link all my calendars so I'm gonna do that but then I'm going to chill chill we can start our sunday evening and i'll bring you along a little bit um but i do just want to like switch off so it can it's time to like cook our dinner turn on the candles get something on to watch for the evening get the mood lighting right in here and chill the fuck out which i'm so excited about and i'm making a bolognese which honestly i can't wait for mm -hmm. 